subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Hey guys, so we're in a little bit of a different here today. The backdrop of the beautiful Cromarty Firth, just outside of Gordon. It's just oh. our fan. So load in, I, th I think you'll win your load in. Um, oh, thank you very much. And then what's next? What have we got next in your uh, group? I, well, we've both got deadlift. So deadlift's next. So deadlift. So who have you got in your groups? Evans. Uh, Evans looking strong. Evan and, and Trey. But for me, I think I, it's better that we got deadlift rather than squats. Trey's really good at squatting, as you've seen last year. Uh, Evans, all right at squatting. Well, I don't really know what I'm saying. Though. I don't think Evans, Evan will be delighted, I think, because Evans, this is no disrespect to you, Evan, but you're by far a better deadlifter than squatter, so Evan will be yeah, really yeah. good, and he's looking really good in deadlifts. Um, I think he can really push you. I think Trey can push you. Mark Felix as well, um, the rep king. Johnny, he's, he's not a deadlifter. It doesn't matter how good you are at deadlifting, you can gas out in this mm. heat. Like, I mean, you're talking 40 plus degree heat, and you can go out and do the first five or six fast, then you're just in my opinion, like crumble and not if you can't get get breaths in and stuff. So it's really about just endurance in this kind of a deadlift event as well, isn't but, it? Yeah, it's not if, too yeah. too heavy, so. Yeah, but if we're being honest, our deadlift hasn't been the best. You no. struggled, I've struggled with, with it. It's one of those things. Um, you, your last session was good. You kind of changed it. You got it, got back into it. That's why we like to show everything when we when we do these training videos. It's a it's a real story that we're trying to tell you. We're not kind of sugarcoating anything we do have bad sessions i've had some bad log sessions tom's have some bad kind of deadlifts de uh, deadlift sessions and that's what we show you but i think yeah come come there you'll do well for me personally um i've got some really good deadlifters in my group bobby thompson's a beast in deadlifting um gav's really good deadlifter kev's good at deadlifting alexi's good at deadlifting so i can keep the pace with some of them again if i can get Another rep than I did last year, then I'll be doing well. That's what I'm looking for. So progression again. So deadlift for me and my group, I think Bobby Thompson will win our deadlift. In my group, it'll be between me and Evan, maybe. I think. Trey's the only guy I've really had in my group and I know him, so it'll be fun to see. But yeah, me and Evan, maybe. Okay. And then we'll go on to the overhead medley. Overhead medley. Three implements, innit? <coughs> Three implements. Yeah. Axel, barbell, dumbbell. Again, everyone's looking pretty good. Bobby's a great overhead presser. He's just got the American uh, log press record. Kevin, great presser as well. He did really well in the finals last year. Um, but for me, uh, I'm, I'm going to take that, that one there. Um, yes, I'm you are. By far the best presser out of the group. And the, the last training session I did in the medley, we did kind of comp weight. I pretty much comp weight and everything felt really light. So, yeah, for me, that's, that's my, my, uh, my event to win. Pressy medley, I say for me, me winning, then Bobby, I think, will come second in that. Yeah, to be honest, I think I'm going to win it as well. I like Haxo, I like the barbell, and I've been working hard on the dumbbell, so if I can just do all three in fast time, then it's going to be a, but it's going to be a good race, but yeah, I think I can do it. Um, I'm confident, so you have to go into that event confident and aggressive and really fast. So The weights aren't exactly out of this world heavy either, so yeah, it's about who's going to be the fastest on the day, in my opinion. Good point. Who's going to be the fastest? Well, win. Yeah, not the strongest, of course. Anyway, next one. What's you? You've got train pull next. Train right? pull. Choo choo. <laughs> train pull. Never done it before, but in my head, it's just a trap pull, and you're going to pull it till you die. So yeah, basically that. I know Trey's good at it. I don't know about anyone really else. I knew Evan probably would have liked finger fingers. Mark Felix. I, I don't know. And then I think Johnny's got a good pull. Johnny, yeah, yeah, he's. He's, he's good a, at fingers as well, yeah, so he's a big uh, lump as well. So I mean, train pulls, train pull. I think it's just gonna. It's basically you're just pulling. It's like a truck. It's, it's the same as a truck. You need pull. to. I think you'll be better at this than you have been before because you've changed. You've you've realised what going to failure is. So yeah, yeah. Um, rather than give up, once it kind of gets a lot of or once it gets hard, you know that you've got to really push past that and keep going. So I think you'll do really well, and you're at extra body weight or your body weight. Yeah, you it, just is just mentally believing in it. You know, like. Uh, Luke said there, usually when I feel like the acid build up in my legs or something gets hard, I'll go, I can't do this. And then as soon as you say that, bang, you just so stop. Who, who are you putting for a win in that one? Oh, that's a hard event, that one. Uh, to be honest, I think it's just going to be who, 
like you said, who's got that, who wants to go to that dark place? Because mm. I think the heavier people have got an advantage, but it's who can kind of go to that dark place. So, I mean, me, Hansen is his name, Hansen. Yeah, and maybe Evan, I think, yeah, even Trey, but I think it's if you've got bigger body weight and heavier body weight, mm. and Hansen's a big guy. So I think it'll be like between the three big people, but who knows? <clears throat> and then I've got Fingles, so as Tom's got the, the train pull, I would have liked to have the train pull, it would have been quite cool, but I've got Fingles Fingers, so it's a tricky one, Fingles, because uh, we've been training with quite a heavy Fingles, and it's feeling a lot easier every time I do it, which is good. I think Gav, big Gav built, and he'll do well on that one, he's, he's a big, tall lump of a boy. There'll be a couple of people that'll maybe struggle. Gav and I are by far the tallest in our group. I know a lot of people have been commenting, telling me to kind of follow right through, um, so that'll, that'll take that on board. Um, but yeah, I'm confident in that one. It's just a, it's a fast, explosive um, event. And thanks again, a big shout out to Sarah Max for making us uh, the fingles f uh, for us for training for Worlds because I'm feeling, I'm feeling really confident. So I'm looking for a win in that one. And I think, I think it'll be a good battle. I think Novikov will do well as again because he's just a, a great athlete. And for me, any event Novikov could win. He's just that dangerous and he's that much of a professional. It was good to see him talking about his his training as well. You know, um, it's, it's training, it's training, but he really gets switched on. And I think that's why like us as well. You know, training, training, and then come come the competition, we really switch on. So, but I'm I'm looking for a win in Fingles for sure, hundred percent. The penultimate event is the pickaxe hold, the forward hold, isn't it? It's a good one to finish. It's a boring event. <laughs> it can change a lot of things. You know, usually you'd see an event like deadlift to, as it would be the last event, and you can do like, oh, Luke can go eight reps, I'll do nine or whatever. But this is really just balls deep, squeeze, and then just go until you die. I mean, it's a hard one to predict because it really depends as well where you are on the day. I mean, if one of us is in the top two, you're going to push harder than if you are like last of the group and stuff. So I, I'm just going to, I mean, I'm going to be up there in the top two or three of that event. I've been training that hard. We've actually hit front hold. Usually we don't hit a front hold. We do one or two mm. sets of it and then that's it all. But we've been training it hard. I'm confident and I, I'm just ready to rock, rock and roll. I think with, with front hold, anything with front hold, Generally, guys with longer arms struggle. So, like in Tom's group, you've got like big long arm monsters there, like yourself, Evan, Mark Felix, Big Johnny. Don't um, worry, I'll be all right, boys. Um, but I think, as Tom says, we've um, really trained that hard week in, week out for this prep and the progression that we've we've seen. So, I think we started with 10 kilos and then we finished with 30 kilos there in our last session. So, um, I think that's a really good progression. Um, for me personally, in our group, Bobby should be quite good at this one. Um, Bobby having um, shorter arms or being a bit more stocky and round chested, Bobby will look to do good in this one. Um, I'm confident in this as well. Um, I can get a decent time. Gav will probably shock a couple of people. Again, being the bigger guy, even though Gav's so tall and big, he's quite stocky. Um, so that should kind of bode well for um, for Gavin. Kev's a gritty performer. You know, I know Kev really gets stuck in and just kind of. Um, enjoys that pain threshold so front hold such a tricky one to, to to gauge really but i'm confident in my training i've done some really good times with the comp weight so i'm, I'm excited to kind of showcase that and and uh, again like tom says it's, if that's the last event before either you go to the stone off or you go through kind of winning or you don't go through the stone off um you know you'll go really hard on that one go all in so um, I'm, I'm really excited. I, again, Alexi's in, in my group. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. If you want to be the best in the world, you've got to beat the best. So for me, I'm looking to be the best in the world, just as Tom is and every other guy there. So um, you've got to beat everyone eventually. So if I can beat Novikov in the heats, then so be it. Hopefully we'll be in first place, go through um, after all those events. If we're not, then the bare minimum, top uh, top three, so second or third, and then it'll be the stone off. So we're still not sure what the stone off is or entails, but I'm sure it'll be pretty cool. Who would you least like to have in the stone off out of your group? Trey, probably. Yeah. I mean, if it's reps, if it's back and forth, 100% Trey. Mm. But if it's a stone run, then it doesn't really bother because it's you that has to do the work. So, but. No, stuff that, like, I want to win this group. It's the first time I've actually wanted to win a group because 
I'll go back and throw all day long, I think, with training. It'll be, uh, it'll be tiring, so... Mm. I'll still win, but it'll be tiring. <laughs> the, the training for stones has been a bit up and down to me. I think you've seen with the tacky I've had and stuff, but I can I can tackle the stones quite well. The rep off against Tom um, early stages, and um, I think we did, I don't know, 14, 15 reps, whatever it was, I can't remember. But you look at that epic stone off the uh, train Alexi had a couple of years back when we both made the final. Wouldn't really fancy being up against him, because again, Alexi will just go um, all day, but... Um, yeah, if I was in the stone off, I would I would fancy my chances against anyone. I'd probably rather be up against Bobby. Um, I know Bobby. Again, no disrespect to you, Bobby. You're a great, great strong man. But I know you said stones is a bit of a weakness. Um, saying that you'll probably come in and beast them and do 20 reps. But I don't care if it's Bobby, Kev, Gav, Alexi, whoever it is. I reckon I can handle myself in stones and uh, get through to the final. But final first place. Final first place. Sorry, Alexi. It is what it is. But on a side note as well, I'm really buzzing that there's going to be fans there this year. Um, I really missed that last year, I'm not going to lie. Um, for me, I really get pumped up from the fans. I get some, I don't know, it helps me get to those dark places that we need to go when there's fans there. So really excited. We might take out a few spicy t-shirts for you guys, chuck them to the crowd. I don't know. Are we? Nah, probably not. No, we will actually. I'm going to take out a few. If you guys are coming to the show, comment below. Let us know your sizes of t-shirts. And we might take some out for you. How about uh, that? I'm just concentrating on winning a title. I'm sorry. <laughs> stay safe, smile, stay spicy. Keep ringing that little bell, guys. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. Tom. Ding-dong.